Hey, welcome back, people. Welcome back to the relationship theory vlog number 17. This one's going to be titled Can't Let Go. Letting go is rough. Letting go is something people tell you to do all the time. It's almost like people are addicted to telling others to let go. You got to let go. Biggest question is let go of what? Let go of what? What are people telling you to let go of? Because it's too easy to just say let go. If you can see someone, you can observe someone clearly holding on to something like an emotional feeling, something they want to say, something they want to get off their chest. I want to come on today and try and go ahead and tell you what you should let go of. Look, people, us as individuals on this planet called Earth, we all have feelings we all we all do we all come from some place where we want to do something feelings tell you where you're coming from they don't tell you where you're going so what happens when people are telling you to let go they're trying to tell you to let go of the feeling that you have a lot of people think that the feelings that they have it's it's insinuating that that's exactly where they're headed it's insinuating that that's where they are right now in this present moment it couldn't be further from the truth people aren't telling you to let go because your feelings is where you're headed you can make a misjudgment and say that oh i feel angry that means i must go do this thing i feel sad so that means i must go do this thing feelings are in reverse feelings tell you that what you feel about has already happened so it's something you have to actually catch up not play a role once you feel something, you're, you're not now on the clock. You were on the clock the whole time. You were already being, you were already being a human being. So letting go, it's letting go of the feeling that you have. We are prepared whenever we feel something from somebody, whenever we feel hurt, feel offended, feel angry about something, feel mad, feel frustrated, feel confused about something. We we love to want to prepare for our next engagement with somebody specifically, like, oh, they made me feel this way. So that means next time when they try to make me feel this way, I will make them feel the way that I felt. And that's, that's taking your feelings and trying to bring them into the future present. And it, it's complicated. And that's what we're doing to ourselves. It's not even complicated in the description. That's what we're doing to ourselves. When people say, let go, let go of the feeling. Acknowledge what you feel, but you gotta let it go. Let go of the feeling that you want to see in someone. Let go of that. People think that the feelings are places that they need to come from and then go to and give someone when that, that's not, that's not the case your feelings are for you your feelings are for you your feelings are your messengers we need to get that in our heads we need to get that straight like we need to really really dial in on this this is one of the most important things in the world your feelings are telling you what's happening immediately what just happened it's not it's not in the future your feelings say, this just happened, so this is the way I feel. It's not going to give you a word form. That's your job. You give you the word form for what you feel. So I'm going to even bring a specific example into this when it comes to letting go. There was somebody I know a little while back. They said something that upset me. Now, they were talking about one of my passions. I, I love to work out. I love to just keep to myself. It just feels good. And they went and made a joke about it. And one of the things that upset me was that it's like, how are you just gonna make a joke about something that I, I'm passionate about? Like, I, I don't work out for you. I don't care if you get offended. Like, I'm, I'm not, I don't, that's not my concern. That stuck with me. That feeling stuck with me. That feeling of like, I'm not here for you. I'm not working out for you. So I don't know why you you're making jokes. Like you said, you, you don't even work out yourself. It's all these things I want to say. I had to come around to letting go of the next time I felt like they wanted to say something and then I had to snap back. Or, like, I had to let go of wanting to get back at them for making me feel the way that I felt. Because it's, that's, it's not important to try to make people feel the way that you felt in time past. That 
feeling in the time past is a messenger to let you know where your lines are crossed as far as that. Can't luck go, guys? I have a tip for you today. Okay, we know that the feelings tell us where we come from. If in the moment you don't get to catch a moment to tell somebody how it made you feel and you miss it, don't sweat it. Don't sweat it at all. Can't let go? The easiest way to let go of something is to imagine that if you never met that person again in your life, and that's the way they made you feel, what could you learn from that moment from then on that if anybody else made you feel that way, you knew how to respond. It's one of the easiest ways to let go of something. Because it won't, it doesn't matter if you're gonna see them again, it doesn't matter if you live with them, it doesn't matter if they're one of your closest friends. People have the ability to make you feel the exact same way and they don't have to be related to you. They can be strangers. You can meet somebody two weeks from now that'll say, something exactly similar to the way somebody made you feel two weeks before and it could be your best friend that said it and then it could be a stranger that makes you feel the same way and it's not because they know each other it's because you know you and how you feel about what's being said to you think about it you have to imagine if i never met this person again what can i learn from that moment about myself to make sure that i'm good the next time around if anybody ever says this to me, what will my reaction be? What will it be? Because I want to make sure I'm good on my end. I want to make sure that people know that, no, the things that I love, I love. And this is where I stand. You never have to get hung up on your failures. Your failures don't mean anything. It doesn't mean what you think it means. I know we play video games out here. We always try to ace, hit that 100%. And we, we fail and those big words come up. I may even think about Super Smash Brothers right now, the home run game. Failure! Failure! But failure doesn't mean what you think it means. Reevaluate your ideas on failure. I don't even think you know what failure really means to you. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? You? Why? Let go of the feeling. You're only holding on to that feeling because you want to you wanna pass it off. But here's a funny secret about letting go. The moment you truly let go of something, that's when you can actively see it right in front of you. And then you get to actually actively choose if you even want to engage with that thing. So there's a benefit to this. There's a benefit to letting go of things that, that you're holding on to, things that you feel on the inside. And it's, it's not just like forgetting and forgiving. When I say letting go, I'm telling you that right now. When I say letting go, I'm not talking about forgetting and forgiving. This has nothing to do with it. Like I said, I gave you that tip. If I never met this person again, what could I learn about this? What could I take from this so that if anybody ever says anything similar to this, I know how to respond. That's number 17, the relationship theory vlog. Can't let go. Hey guys, I just want to thank you guys for coming in today. Thank you for viewing this video. I see you. I see you and I appreciate you so much. Thank you once again. Catch you guys later.